Good morning from Epcot. We're here again for the Festival of the Arts. It's gonna be a fun and exciting day. We're gonna try all kinds of stuff that's new that we haven't tried before. So in our very first Festival of the Arts video on opening day, we did try some new items that day, but we didn't try all of them. Right. So today we're gonna to start trying to try all of them. Trying. Yeah, there's a lot. There's 50 new items on that list. Some of those items are alcoholic beverages, which we won't be trying, but we're gonna to try to try all the food. We're gonna try to try it. Yeah. So first stop, the Odyssey building. Well, the bathroom first, but then the Odyssey <laughs> building. As we are on our way to the bathroom, something we forgot to mention was that on our way into Epcot, we were able to see the brand new entrance sign at the parking booths. What do you guys think of it? This is something that they're doing with the continued transformation of Epcot. They also debuted new parking lot names and signs. I really like this Hey Hey one. Seems like it's not really a busy day here at Epcot. You know what our first test of that is? The wait time here at Spaceship Earth. Let's see. Coming around the corner just now. Unless I'm with me. Uh, 30 minutes, holy macaroni. So Guardians of the Galaxy is over here. What's this one called? This one's called Mission Space. Then Test Track's over here. The DVC booth is behind walls, interestingly enough. And we're headed off to the right over here to head towards the Odyssey building. I made a list in my phone. Oh, did you check it twice? I'm checking it. This is my second time checking it. I'm oh. basically the Santa of Epcot. Yeah, it's true. Um, so I am just trying to see. We, there's a few things we have on our list today that we didn't get to try. We didn't try anything in Japan last time, anything in Mexico. There's a few things that we missed from some of the booths that we did try. But I think we're going to start with the grape smoothie with freeze-dried Skittles. We're gonna try that one first. Okay. I've heard mixed reviews, so let's see what we think. Starting to get up to some of the artistry. And we have an artist over here painting as we speak at the Promenade Fine Art booth. This is great. I love this. Also, love this. Look at this goofy one. Which one? Oh yeah. It's oh, amazing. I like the frames are like just as much part of it as the actual art. Yeah. Ooh, I feel like I'm sailing on Stranger Tides. Ooh, they like have a whole guitar out here too. Wow, it's like all sandblasted and everything. This is awesome. Dude, this Jimi Hendrix one has two guitars on it. Oh wow. And this one has a Laugh-O-Gram Studios <coughs> frame on it. Oh wait, we can see the price of that. This one has a price on the back of it. 18,500 for the pirate frame sculpture. Oh wow. I like that. Oh, I like this one too. Pretty neat. Also, this Haunted Mansion one. Um, That's an original. I think I like the, the, the ones that are like Disney characters. I like it better when they're not so in your face. Right? You know, I'm more of a fan of like this kind of stuff. Yeah. I think this one's sold though, because it has a red dot. Uh oh. All right, so this is the Odyssey building. We're kind of out in the middle of the lake over here, just next to Test Track. And we are going into Figment's Inspiration Station to get the grape smoothie with freeze-dried Skittles bite-sized candies. Mm. So it's weird to say Skittles bite-sized candies, like a plural Skittles. Do they have big ones? No, I think it would be like Skittle bite-sized candies. Yeah, but like that is that makes me think that there are bigger Skittles. Oh yeah. Like non-bite size? Yeah, like family like size. Meal size. <laughs> okay. Um, but last time we were here we did try the cake. And you loved it. I thought it was delicious, and the fruit pizza, which was sort of a meh. Okay. So I'll link that video down below in case you want to see those items too, but let's get our smoothie. This is also where you would come if you mobile ordered your figment popcorn bucket. My goodness, there are figment popcorn buckets everywhere. First time we were in here, we couldn't spend too much time because it was just packed. But now, we can kind of wander around and look at some of the neon, and some of the projections on the walls. And of course, your pal Figment. <laughs> and Dreamfinder. Oh my goodness, I love this style. Piglet and Eeyore are adorable. And also these over here, super fun. Kids are going a little wild for these smoke-filled bubbles out here. I figured this would be a whimsical background for Figment's grape smoothie. Oh yeah. Smoke-filled bubbles, right? It's true. Okay, let's try it. Yeah. It's creamier than I thought it would be. Oh. It almost tastes like a grape milkshake. 
I thought it was gonna be like a grape slushy. Okay. But it kind of tastes like grape and like coconut milk. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Okay, maybe I'll like it. I don't really like grape flavored things. But now I'm excited to try it. The only thing that I'm not impressed with is the, you don't get any of the, the freeze dried Skittles. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Well, they're on the top. Yeah, you'd have to. They don't really make it into your straw. Let me see if this says anything about. It just says grape smoothie with freeze dried Skittle pieces. Yes. Right? Kind of lovely. Oh, that's strange. It doesn't taste like fake grape. It tastes like grape juice. Yeah, but like creamy. Creamy grape juice. And it was five fifty, but and you, you do get the cup. It's a very flimsy cup, though. It's not like. I don't think this would survive so one like trip in the dishwasher. No, I no. <laughs> this is better than I thought it was gonna be. I just got a skittle piece. Oh, did you? Yeah, it went straight down my throat. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> would you order it again? Kinda, yeah. Okay. Like I wouldn't be like running to Epcot to order it again, but like if we were in here, get out of here, bubble. But if we were in here, I'd be like, yeah, let's. Let's get a let's get a grape smoothie. All right. Probably not because like then you have to carry this cup around with you. I know. What are we gonna do? I you don't have, have a backpack. Any... No, my backpack's full of my sweatshirt. Oh, throw the sweatshirt out. No. <laughs> oh. The bubbles just like bouncing on the water. Ah, bird. This is kind of fun. Oh, they came back up. Ooh, that was exciting. Next stop. El Artista Ambriento for some Mexican cuisine. All right, we're gonna get the carne asada, chipotle marinated beef sirloin, sweet potato puree, and crispy fried onions for $10. Jarache de champiñones, guajillo chilies, corn masa jarache with pinto beans, oyster mushrooms, nopales, queso fresco, and pea tendrils. This one is vegetarian. This one is $7.50. And then we have the flan de coco with coconut flan, guava sauce, and whipped cream. This one is $6.50. Okay, it was very easy to cut with my plastic silverware. That's really good. Wow, we should have got two. Oh. It's cooked really nicely. It was so tender. The flavor, it's not spicy. It just has like a nice, I don't know, I don't know what the flavor is. It's not spicy though. That's it? <laughs> Taste it, you tell me. All right. All right, so Tim, Tim was making fun of my food review skills. Well, because you, you tell me the flavor. I don't know what the flavor was. It just tastes, it doesn't taste like it was grilled over like an open flame or anything, but it's not spicy, but it has like a nice salt content, you know? Very, very tender. Yeah, so tender. Easy to chew. Like, in my opinion, this is more tender than uh, some fillets that I've had. Really? Yeah. Wow. Like, this is almost like a pork, like a, like a pot roast tender. You know, like slow, slow, slow cooked. Yeah. There is a little bit of like a grilled flavor to it. I don't know what the, um, yeah, you're right. I don't know what the actual spice is. <laughs> but I it does, it kind of has like a little bit of like a sweetness to well, it. I think that could be also because it's it's paired with like a sweet potato. I didn't get any of the sweet potato. Oh, okay. And it has an oniony flavor on it too. Yeah, the onions are really, really good. I love a, I love a nice caramelized onion. With some cornmeal on them? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So cornmeal, salt, a little tiny bit of sweet, smoky, the oniony. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, so now we're moving on to the next dish. The cast member told us how to say it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try my best. The borrache de champignones, and that was the vegetarian dish. Now everybody was raving about this on the first day. I have to say it doesn't look good. It actually well, looks pretty bad. You gotta try also, it first. But, but the, I'm just telling you, uh, based on my like visual first opinion, it looks not great. And the plating is weird. Like right. it should be on a smaller plate or they should put something over here. Anyway, let's try it, let's see. I think what's deterring me from this one is it seems like it's just gonna be very mushy. And I feel like the texture is gonna be a little boring. Okay. So let's see if I'm right. Oh, monorail. I don't wanna take all the pea tendrils. Okay, here we go. The texture, it could benefit from a little crunch, but it tastes really good. Yeah? Yeah, so it has like the green chilies, which give it like a, a nice kind of salty and sweet kind of a flavor. The creaminess of the refried beans is like really nice with the, the cheese too. The taste is really, really good. It has, I like salty stuff. It tastes kind of salty. Okay. So, I don't know, I like it. If you like refried beans, you'll really, really like it. As you were cutting it, we noticed that my side was crispier 
Yeah, I think you got the, the crispier plantain side. Still not entirely crispy. There's no. corn flavor in there too. Yeah, that's the, um, maybe it's not a plantain. Corn masa. Okay, so sorry. We read the, the description of this while we were in line, which was a little a little while ago. It was corn masa, not plantain. So that makes sense. It's like a mushed corn patty. Not getting as much refried beans, getting more green chilies corn flavor, nice and salty. I don't think the pea tendrils really add anything to it. <laughs> it's just like greenery for looks, I think. Yeah, but so it wasn't so like bland looking, I think. Yeah. And I mean, it worked. It made it look a little nicer. Has the tiniest, tiniest bit of spice to it too. Mm. I would order it again. Yeah, I really did like that. It didn't look great, but it tasted really good. Yeah, you know what's next? The flan. Flan, baby. Look at that. So because it's dessert, <laughs> gotta open up and pull out my next set of utensils and quite possibly a few napkins too. <laughs> You're so proud case. of this pocket. It's giant. Wow, let's cut into it. I like that. That's very nice. So that is, it looks, although it looks like caramel, it's a guava sauce. Yeah. No. Oh no, why? Let me try it without the guava. What don't you like? It's coconut flan. It doesn't taste anything like coconut. Okay. It tastes heavy of caramel, but also like... Like dolce de leche? Yeah, but not known, like more caramelly. Okay. Uh, hey, how's it going? <laughs> Hi. But also like it has the consistency of like bread pudding. Oh, weird. Yeah, not, it does Not look, as custardy as a flan should it, be. It does look more like porous. Yeah, look at... Weird. Yeah. I hope you guys can hear this wind is so bad right now. It is. It smells kind of weird. I taste the coconut. Do you? Yeah, you don't like the guava? I didn't like the flavor of the overall everything. I like the flavor of the guava by itself. Oh, I kind of like it. Yeah? Even the consistency and everything? I kind of. It kind of feels like... Almost like tapioca pudding in my mouth. Yeah. It was kind of weird. Yeah, I don't hate it. Okay. This wouldn't be the first dessert that I go for, but right. I, if somebody was like, hey, I bought this for you, I'd be like, okay, I'll eat it. <laughs> but now we're going to head to Canada. Oh, Canada. Oh, Canada. <laughs> so everybody was saying that the risotto at Canada was really delicious. It's not a new item, but I just want to try it because everybody said it was so good. And then there's also a drink near Canada that we have to try. Okay. We did get confirmation that when Epcot Forever comes back, these barges are leaving and Epcot Forever comes back on April 3rd. But you can see they are doing some work on the barges over there. So one thing we forgot to mention about the Flan de Coco um, from Mexico is that it is a gluten slash wheat friendly item. Oh, okay. So there you go. Another thing though is that the they didn't mention that the Warache de Champiñones was uh, plant, plant-based. plant Everything else they mentioned if it's a plant-based item. So mm. I'll have to double check on that. So I did check with a cast member and that item was plant-based. I wonder why it didn't have the signage. I don't know. Yeah, hmm. I'm not sure, but that's what they told me, so. They're like pigs or plants, right? No, there's no pigs. <laughs> All right, next stop, deconstructed dish. There isn't anything new here, but some stuff that looks delicious. Okay, so we, again, we're getting some things that are not new to the festival, but we were influenced because we walked by somebody who ordered the BLT, the deconstructed BLT, and Tim's like, I'm gonna get that. It looks really good. And then, Somebody on my Instagram timeline showed a picture of their deconstructed French onion soup, and I remember it being really good. So now we're gonna get that too. Okay. But they're not new items, they're just delicious items. Hashtag influenced. We were. All right, so the first thing that we got was the deconstructed BLT, pork belly, soft poached egg, onion bread pudding, watercress espuma, and tomato jam. And then Jen got the deconstructed French onion soup, beef broth ravioli, gruyere cream, Onion bread pudding and onion textures. Oh. What are onion textures? These guys. Oh, okay. 
So this deconstructed BLT was seven dollars. Ooh, seven bucks, and you got to put it together yourself. I know. What the heck? <laughs> Get some of this pork belly here. It looks extra crispy. Kind of hard to cut through with this knife. What's this thing? Do you think? I don't know. Kind of looks like butter. Ooh. Break apart some of the egg here. So I know a lot of people would be turned off this. from this egg. But I think the egg is what makes it. Oh, you just dip it right. Yeah, do that. There you go. I'm, I'm reconstructing yeah. here. What is this? I'm not sure. The the um, Oh, that was the espuma. What does espuma mean? Um, maybe like a little, a little, a little cream. It's like going through a flavor journey of onion bread. <laughs> Only thing I taste right now is the onion bread. Oh, really? The very powerful flavor. Wow. And the onion bread and the salt that was on the... It does smell, it does smell very oniony. It's good. Are you glad you ordered it? Yeah, but like, that onion bread is intense. It was a jam, a tomato jam? Yeah, but like, maybe don't put the onion bread on there. Why not? It's good, Do like with the onion? salt and everything. Well, I never put onion on my BLTs. Maybe you should, a BLTO. <laughs> right, let's get, get some of this stuff here. No onion bread this time. Mm. Is that better? No. Yeah. Got a little bit of mustard in there. The saltiness of the pork belly, the creaminess of the egg, the sweetness of the onion. Fantastic. Yeah. But yeah, I think that this is actually really good all together too. But if you're, if you're a fan of onions, if you're not a fan of onions, I wouldn't order this at all. Oh, okay. Good to but know. It's, very, it's delicious. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, thick broth. Do I eat the whole onion? Yeah, sure, why not? Like, is that the, what you're supposed to do? I think I got a little bit of everything. Mmm, so it tastes like it has gravy inside. Like, you know how gravy is more of a, like a concentrated flavor? Yeah. It does, it tastes like it's it's not soup, it tastes like it's gravy. I think the thing that really makes it for me though, is that crisp, that cheese crisp. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, it's good. No, it's not the onion bread? No, no. It's, it's good, but I don't know that it's, I don't know that it's one of those things that I like would have to order every time. But I feel like I would order it every year to remember if it was like good enough. No. Like, do I remember this being good? I can't remember. Let me order it. You know, like one of those. Do you eat this? Water. You can eat whatever you'd like to. Is that a garnish? You want to try a bite of this? Tell me what you think. Yeah. All right. So I just had some of that. That is a very, very heavy flavor. Like rich to the extreme, like a Parmesan type cheese crisp. It's Gruyere, Gruyere, right? But like. You know how it's like a strong flavor. It kind of tastes like a cheese it and then a very thick, thick, thick broth inside. So you know what though? I think I would recommend, you know how you were saying like don't have that big onion piece? Yeah. I think I would recommend having it because it gives, it kind of like, it's a sweet flavor. The onion, so, the actual piece of onion? Yeah, it's like a sweet onion. Okay. So it adds, oh geez, hold on, I'm making a mess. So it really helps with the like super bold <laughs> flavor of like that gravy broth. You're telling me that you want an onion to help lessen the boldness of it? The sweetness helps like cut the, okay. the like the richness of the broth. But the broth is really great. It's gravy. Oh, it's gravy? Yeah, it's all gravy. It's all gravy. <laughs> all right, our next stop before we get into England is here at this Joffrey's Coffee Stand because they have for Festival of the Arts, the Magenta Frost for $6.39. Or and you can add Grey Goose Vodka to it. They also have Valentine's Day beverages, strawberry dipped mocha, and the strawberry dipped mocha game changer. That's the game changer. What changes the game of it? Dark chocolate? No? What is it? What's the difference? Oh, French roast. All right, here's a look at the side by side of it. So this is an artistic blend of frozen lemon ice, a splash of Minute Maid premium lemonade, dragon fruit, and dragon fruit popping boba pearls, but they don't have a large straw for the boba. We'll have to drink it at the end. Yeah, you just gotta drink it at the end. So it's 6.39 without the spirits. It's $13.99 if you wanted a shot of Grey Goose, or you could make it a double for 17 bucks. Wow. If you wanted to get like real wild. Yeah. Yeah. Good try it? Have, a, have a little sippy sip. The straw looks like so weird. It's a uh, compostable. Oh, it's good. Kind of tastes like strawberry lemonade. I know it's not strawberry, but that's what it tastes like. Oh, okay. And it's a slushy. Yeah, that's what I talked about. In my old age, I'm not very good at yeah, drinking slushies. It's good. It's like sweet and tart. Perfect. This would be like a good mixed drink though. Like if you added the, the vodka, it'd be really nice. You taste the flavor of magenta. Oh yeah? So they do have other colors as well. They had a, a jade one, which was green apple flavored. They had a cerulean one, which was blue raspberry flavored. They had an orange one, which was blood orange flavored. And then there was one more. Oh, it was just four. Oh, magenta. Then this magenta. one. Yeah. 
This is good. It's it's got, got the sourness of the lemon, but then the sweetness of the dragon fruit. Yeah, it's like a, a sweet and, and and sour. The ice part. It's kind of like uh, Italian ice, like a large crunch Italian ice. There's Alice, and she is wearing her wintertime outfit. There she is. Past my international gateway, which is a way that you could take to get over to Hollywood Studios. But as of right now, Skyliner is unavailable because it is down for its scheduled maintenance. For a whole week until the 29th? Yeah. What are they doing? They're maintenancing it. What do they have to. You gotta grease up the pulleys, oh. check the tightness of the rope, scrub the windows. Okay. Next stop, France. What are we getting? Are we getting the tiny you bread? You have to say it like. France! <laughs> Let's heart de la cuisine francaise. We're getting this one. The, I don't know how to say it, the Mille Fule de Benaraves um, Herbes et Noir de Cajoy. No. <laughs> Cajoy. It's a plant-based Napoleon with beets, cashew herb filling, pepper pine nut sauce, and balsamic vinegar caviar. This is a plant-based item. For oh my gosh, it's twelve dollars and seventy-five cents. Whoa! Holy macaroni. That's, uh, that's a lot. All right, so we asked okay. the cast member how I, to pronounce it. I want to um, uh, properly uh, apologize for the way that I said that because I know that's wrong. Yeah. They said it so quickly. We asked him, "How do you say this?" And he said, "Milly Fule," but it. But that probably is wrong too. But then he added the rest of it. It was just kind of like a whoosh. I couldn't. Like I, a there's, blur. Yeah, there's no way that I could pronounce it the way that he said it, like authentically. Yeah. So, um, sorry about that. <laughs> but this is our $12.75 uh, beet item. I am so disappointed in this. Even if this tasted like magic, I like do not buy this. I don't care how good this is. It's not worth the price. Twelve dollars and seven. This is all plant-based. Twelve dollars and seventy-five cents. So, are these like cooked beets? They're kind of like par cooked. Okay. Well, hmm. let's cut it open. I almost don't want to ruin it. Well, no, you have to because this is worth. <laughs> you won't get get our money's worth out of it. Oh no, I don't think I can. Oh no. Yeah, I think it's it's too like crisp. Oh no. Oh <laughs> no. Okay. Well, that's. I'll try. I'll I'll try this side. Okay. And I'll add a little bit of the uh, whatever. What is this? That's the balsamic. Is it? This is the balsamic. Oh, this tastes kind of like. No, that's balsamic too. Okay. Okay, a little bit of this. I'll do a couple of these. Okay. A couple of these. A little bit okay. of this. A little bit of that. All right, let's try a bite of everything. Just it smells very like raw vegetable. Mm. I don't know what that flavor is. Wow. It tastes like, I don't know, just green. Like if, if green had a flavor, it would taste like this. Well, you can you can taste colors though. <laughs> Maybe it is magic. Um, this is 100 million trillion percent not worth it. I would never get this again. I love plant-based items. We eat vegan like three times a week, but this is a no from me, dog. Okay. <laughs> I got it all loaded up perfect for him and he, he dropped it. The beets are super crunchy. Yeah, I thought they would be cooked. A little bit. It kind of has an earthy flavor to it. Yeah, like green. Yeah. Not like grass though. No, like like more herby, dirt. herby, herby. This like heavy herbs. What? I didn't why? get any balsamic. But why is this thirteen dollars? What is I don't know. what, what is the reason? What are in there that are making this thirteen dollars? I'm not sure. Maybe it's filled with gold. Oh, gold. What's the reason? Yeah, this isn't good. Do not buy this. You know what this means? What? Cheese. <laughs> if it this was, was like a borson, oh my gosh, yeah, it'd be awesome. Maybe it'd be it it'd needs be less to be creamier. It'd be less terrible. <laughs> like I know that it's a nut, but like it needs an extra cream to it. Let me read the. Let me read what it said. Maybe I'm, let me let me just see. This is cashew herb filling. It just needs to be creamier. It, it it's like need, not creamy enough. It needs to be a whole different flavor for me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> I hated that. Hated it. I don't hate it. No, I hate it. But. It needs an extra, maybe it needs salt actually. Mmm. I think yeah. it needs a lot more. It needs cream and salt. Okay. So it and needs fat some not. <laughs> and salt. And maybe a little bit of acid in there too. <laughs> Put those three things in. Perfect. So, wait, what did you just say? I said the best part of our trip to France today was seeing somebody play the DuckTales game. And seeing the little uh, the little thing fly by. Yeah, one of the one of the nephews. Is that what it was? I couldn't see by. what it was, but I was like, it's it's a thing, it's happening. Yeah, that was so the best part of coming to France today. We'll link a video down below where we play, played the Perry the Platypus version of that. Yeah. 
They have now switched it over to DuckTales. We also played all of the interactive games. So we played the Pirates game, the Perry the Platypus game, and then there was another one too. Oh, what? Magic, Ma the Magic, not the Magic the Gathering. Magic the Gathering. <laughs> what is it Sorcerers called? of the Magic <laughs> the, Kingdom. Yeah. Some of these are now like defunct games. They're not available to play anymore. Yeah. I think all of them. No, no two of them. Pirates, Pirates is still there. Okay. But uh, now the new one, we got to come back and play this. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Ducktales. <laughs> you guys are doing the figment scavenger hunt, looking for figment in various paintings. Ooh. You can see him here in Monet's Water Lily Pond Green Harmony. Reflections of imagination. Yeah. Oh, look. It's hard to see. Oh, yeah. There he's, he's waving, he's down, waving here. down there. Not up here. Because it's in his imagination. Oh, it's kind of like, it's kind of like, don't worry, darling. When she goes into the bathtub, but then her reflection stays up. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Glitch in the Matrix. <laughs> another year, another Vibrante and Vivido, Encanto Cocina, a booth based on the movie Encanto, without any arepas. But the, um, so the one time, not the one time, the last time we came, we tried the soup and it was really good. Yeah? It was good soup. Good soup, but still, no arepas yeah, that can make you feel better. But just one arepa. Right, it wasn't like true to the movie, I guess. Right. Yeah. Like, you just put it on there. <laughs> one extra thing. <laughs> this is awesome. I love these. And then this one's my favorite. <laughs> like Mickey on a Harley. Some of these are just like weird to me. Kind of like airbrushed. Well, I just, I feel like this is not, like would Mickey really drive a Harley with flames? Yeah. You think he would? Yeah. Oh. To me, I feel like he'd be in like a Mini Cooper. He'd be driving a hot dog car. Oh, a hot dog car, yeah. That, yeah, I could see that. Stopping off at the Japan booth, or Goshiki. <laughs> I'm gonna get a couple of things here. I'm gonna get the Rainbow Katsu Sando for $6.50. And we're also doing the Ichigo Daifuku Mixed Berry Mochi. Oh no, sweet beans. Oh, sweet beans for $6.75. So the first thing we got is the Rainbow Katsu Sando pork cutlet sandwich with tangy tonkatsu sauce and cabbage in rainbow sweet bread. And then we got the Ichigo Daifuku Mixed berry mochi, sweet azuku bean paste, and mascarpone. So the sando was six dollars and fifty cents, and the mochi was six dollars and seventy-five cents. So the pork doesn't look great. Like zoom in on that pork. Yeah, not the best looking. And we got the butt of the bread, so we only got one really colorful bread. Right. But that doesn't matter. But I, you know, I'm just telling you guys. That's all the art. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take a bite. Mm, okay. Something crunchy in there? Well, I got like, so there's no meat on, on this part at all. Oh. And then there's a whole, you know how they, you get like the um, the meat that's been kind of like sitting out for a long time? Mm -hmm. So it's sort of, I don't know the word, like dry and chewy and like really hard. Yeah. That's what we got. So I would say this is not the best like serving of this sandwich that they probably could have given us, but the flavor is really good. Okay. It does have the tangy, the tenkatsu is, is definitely tangy. The bread is a little bit sweet. Yeah, it's nice. It's just like a, a little pork cutlet sandwich. Okay. Nothing special. I think the specialness is the bread. Yeah. I probably would order it again just to see if I got a better cut, but I don't think I would necessarily recommend getting it. Okay. Hmm. That's kind of a bummer. I was excited for this one. So wait, what is this? Because this didn't say what it was. I don't know. It's like a... Do you put this on the sandwich? I don't know. Give it a try. Maybe this was supposed to go on the sandwich. What is it? Like an onion and ginger relish almost? Oh, weird. Maybe that's what, maybe I needed to put it on the sandwich. Give it a try. Did I change your opinion altogether? I mean, I made it more exciting. Okay. Yeah, I made it a more exciting sandwich. Hmm. I'll have to see what you think. Try it. This is probably the nicest feeling bread that I've felt in a long time. <laughs> it's like a non-greasy croissant. Oh, yeah. Like, there's not butter in it, but it's just as soft as a croissant. Hmm. It is good. The tonkatsu is really good. I like that flavor. It's like a nice mayonnaise-y flavor. And then the mayonnaise and cabbage together. It's a good flavor. It's like coleslaw, kind of. And then you put that on there with the sweet bread yeah. and the pork. Try it, try it with a little bit of that onion. A little bit I, of onion? I'm, not, I'm confused. I don't know. They didn't say to put it on the sandwich. 
but like maybe you're supposed to because it's like onion and ginger it's yeah, kind I don't of like, like the onion thing it's like a, it kind of wakes you up yeah the ginger kind of gives you like a wasabi feeling yeah but also a little bit of vinegar in there too onion vinegar ginger yeah that's not my favorite no but. I wish I had been able to try the sushi donut I can't right now because I'm pregnant but I think that would have been like my favorite thing of the day this is really good though yeah like, I think it's good okay if this was hot yeah yeah be amazing but I'm, I'm excited for this I think this festivals. is gonna be the star of the show <laughs> you would get it again uh -huh. okay oh let's have a look at the inside of this guy oh no Ooh, look look at this what am I looking at the mix the mochi the like how it's like you see it in there Ooh, it's like bean paste yeah ah, okay bean paste sweet bean paste all right let me cut this in half this little like dough on the outside is so soft and like chewy I should I do this in one bite <clears throat> yeah that's what I would do normally when we do mochi it's frozen so I've never had like super fresh dough okay here I go it's so good is it good oh good I was concerned about the bean paste talk to me about that bean paste it just tastes like sweet beans mm, sweet beans it's really good though yeah it definitely tastes like beans it's my favorite pet name to call you <laughs> sweet beans it definitely tastes like beans though like they're not hiding the flavor or anything but the uh the marscapone and the, the fresh fruit it's it's so good yeah yeah i would get i wish we had gotten two of these Ooh. yeah it was my favorite thing of the day so far oh really yeah wow oh and i love that the um the dough is like so soft okay. try that i'm excited to see what you think it kind of it kind of has like it feels like play-doh oh i love play-doh it's like not super sweet because of the beans Mine was extra cheesy. Oh, was it? Yeah. What do you think? Pretty good. I didn't really get a lot of bean flavor, which is what I was concerned about. Oh, really? Maybe yeah. I got all the beans and you, you got, got all the cheese. You got all the beans. <laughs> I got all the cheese. I got blackberries and strawberry, or blueberry and strawberry. Fantastic together. I was hoping for it to be more of like a cold flavor. Yeah, it wasn't super cold. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know I if it's supposed to be because that's what I was saying. Whenever we buy mochi, it's frozen. Yeah. And I don't know if it's supposed to be frozen. Because we get mochi ice cream. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I would eat that again. Yeah. That, that was, was delicious. So good. How much was it? Did we talk about that? I don't know. The katsu uh, was six fifty, and this was six seventy five. So this was more expensive than the sandwich. Oh really? Yeah. Oh wow. By twenty five cents. Interesting. I, don't, I feel like these prices are so arbitrary. They just like throw a dart at they the wall. They really are because that was <laughs> the same amount of food as the, the scallop. Or right. that, it was the same amount of food as that beet thing. Right. And that was $12.75. I don't understand that pricing. I yeah. think they were that was like they were trolling us. They're like, I what would they so. pay for this? <laughs> They're like, let's give them the worst thing we can think of. Charge them an arm and a leg. <laughs> so we are actually on our way over to Italy. And I totally forgot to mention that because I got distracted by the mime juggling. So I didn't show the menu or the booth, but we are headed there to try the dessert that we didn't try the last time that we were here. So this is the Badino al Chocolato, chocolate pudding with colorful chocolate decor. So I guess what I don't understand about these, right? If this is just chocolate pudding, why is it $8? It's fancy chocolate pudding. Is that, let's see, I'll be the judge of that. Okay. <laughs> Not that I like no fancy food, but I'll at least tell you what I, what I think, if I think it tastes good. It's very thick. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it is very like rich. Okay. It tastes better than like jello pudding, you know? All right. Mm, it does taste like real, like good chocolate. Okay. It almost tastes like milk chocolate mixed with a little bit of caramel. Oh, Like interesting. a little bit of like a buttery. It is very, very good. I just don't know that it's worth $8. Okay. It's in a very fancy cup. It's got the art. <laughs> <laughs> And there was a seagull flying by, and I thought for sure it was just going to come and take that right out of your hand. All in the way you eat it. <laughs> yeah, it's pudding. But do you taste how it has like a little bit of a fancier flavor? Like a little bit of like a buttery, extra creamy flavor? What, you yeah, know? I do taste it. Yeah, it's not it's not like jello pudding. Right, yeah. It is a little bit thicker. Oh gosh, if that... <laughs> that's like $2 worth of pudding right there. So that's my, it's my experiment, you know? I'm going to eat the art. Oh yeah, how does it taste? Arty, colorful? It tasted less like white chocolate than I thought it was going to. Oh really? Which is weird. Chocolatey, milky, caramelly. Pretty okay. What would you? What, what do you think a good price for that would be? Good price? Yeah. A dollar. For a dollar? 
a normal price? <laughs> I'd say three fifty. Four four dollars. Okay. After our review, we're walking away. Jen takes another bite and just goes, "Mmm, yum." It is. Oh, very wait, good. look. This is the the pyro barge coming through. Look at this. That's every little pyro barge. So these are all individually placed throughout the lagoon for Harmonious tonight. Look at that. Well, no, there's four of them and a boat. So you guys are doing great. Nice work, everybody. All right, last stop, the Pastoral Palette. We are getting the Black Forest Cake and I think also the Wild Boar Cassolette because I had that last year and it was delicious. Trying it again. I think it was delicious. I hope it's delicious. We're gonna try it again. We actually got all three items from the Pastoral Palette. Which is Germany. Yes, which is in the Germany area. But the one that we're gonna focus on today is the Black Forest Cake. It's the Black Forest Cake. It's chocolate mousse with Morello cherries and Chantilly cream. So we didn't get this on our first trip because we're not like huge fans of chocolate and fruit together, but everybody said it was so good. So yeah. we're, we're trying it, but also we've had kind of a lot of sweets today. So I needed to get something savory. That's why I got the braised beef. It looks yeah. like it looks like pot roast. Wine, red wine braised beef short rib with parsnip puree, broccolini, baby tomatoes, and aged balsamic for eight fifty. It just looks so tender. The black forest cake was four seventy five. And then you got the. I got the wild boar cassoulet with it, duck it, confit, ham hock, and wild boar sausage for nine twenty five. Is it cassoulet or cassoulet? Cassoulet. Sorry. I don't know which way. Look at that beautiful art. Yeah, art. So we didn't show us eating the, the savory items, but they were both very delicious. Oh yeah, so good. Yeah. Loved them. Loved them, would eat them every time. <laughs> yeah, it was But they just weren't like new, a, so we didn't no, focus yeah, on them. No, yeah, they weren't new, but the, the meat was so tender. The parsnip puree was delicious and sweet and creamy. The broccolini was cold, but had a great flavor. And it was just a nice way to end the day. Actually, no, the best way to end the day is gonna be this cake. Yes. So I think I'm gonna cut it in half to give you a cross section. You can see what's on the inside. I'm very excited for this. It looks so good. Let's see. Ooh, ooh, look at it. Look at the way it slices. Wow, look at that. The layers. Oh my goodness gracious. Amazing. It almost tastes like one of those, like, you know when you get the little cup and they fill it with like chocolate cake, cake crumbles and then like the fruit and then the mousse and then the, you know what I mean? Like it's like in a cup though? Yeah. Kind of tastes like that. Like, like a dessert shot? Yeah, like the cake doesn't like form together very well, okay. but then they covered it in like magic shell basically. Ooh, I love um, that. It's very good. I think that chocolate and cherry are the best fruit and chocolate combination. Okay. So this is delicious. Right. And this really was the best way to end the day. Okay, good. Yeah. Really good. Right? Yeah, it's like more chocolatey than it is cherry. Yeah, the cherries are- I've got are... the cherry right now. I like love that. How much was that one? Four seventy-five. See, that's the they priced that one right. Look at this like beautiful chocolate leaf on the top. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah. Do recommend. And they give you extra cherries on the side in case oh, it wasn't cherry and full just, enough. Like, in syrup. Yum. Mm. Yeah, very delicious. Cherries are sweeter than they are tart. Mm -hmm. And the chocolate is super chocolatey. The chantilly is creamy. <laughs> I like it. Is it the perfect dessert? Maybe. No. Oh, <laughs> what's the perfect dessert? A cookie? Uh, mint chocolate chip ice cream. Oh, okay. Chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. Ooh. All right, well. A cookie. That's not artful enough, sorry. Yeah. All right, we got all of the food that we needed to eat on this trip. Now we're headed back up to the front. Might take a quick trip through Creation Shop to have a look at some of the merchandise. Other than that, we're making our way out. to Creation Shop. Test Track is right at our back. We're only going through about half of Creation Shop. We do have to make our way to the front to get back home, but I did want to stop in here really quick. Have a look. Is this a dog bed that's Grogu's little little pod? Oh my God, look at this. Oh wow. That's so much fun. Or like a pet bed. Oh, it makes me want a dog. No. <laughs> it makes me want a bandit, really. <laughs> but also, this Mickey is adorable right here on this display, but it's not on any merchandise anywhere that I see. Isn't this the Mickey 
tea that was on the it was on the stuff that you were showing at Disney Springs a while ago. It kind of looks like that, doesn't it? I think it is. Is that merch in here? Look at this muscly mannequin. Oh. Oh, for Valentine's Day, they have a little heart display. Carl and Eddie. Oh. Carl and Carl and Ellie. They call her Eddie. Oh dear. It's cute. It is cute. I think they're gonna sell out of these for Valentine's Day. Oh. I think a lot of people will be buying these. All right, nothing really stuck out to me inside of Creation Shop. So, uh, yeah, didn't really see much. I was hoping to see some of the new Disney 100 stuff. Like there's a Walt Disney mug with like a picture. It's Walt Disney Animator. That's what it says on it. Looks awesome. That's what I was hoping to check. It's only at Disneyland right now. That one's at Disney Springs right now. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh. So. We might be heading over to Disney Springs to have a look at some of that stuff. All right, so there you have it. That was our trip out to Epcot for Festival of the Arts again. It was a fantastic trip. So tried some really delicious food. We tried everything on our list, plus a few extras. Yeah. I didn't think we were going to get through everything, but we did. We did it. We Feels did. good. Yeah. So, so now we just have to come back and do the colorful walk. The artful, colorful walk of colorful, artful <laughs> cuisine. But we, it's the colorful cuisine, right? Yeah. But we finished, we've tried every new item between these last two videos. That that are not like alcoholic beverages. Right. Yeah. Fantastic. Mission yeah. accomplished. We did it. We did it. I feel good. Yeah. I feel full. All right, top three. So for me, it's going to be the the Black Forest Cake, the Mochi, and the Carne Asada. Yeah, those, those are, are my, my three as well. Yeah, my three standouts for yeah, today. Carne Asada's top for me. It was very good. We can't wait to come back. Love Festival of the Arts. It is the shortest festival. Yeah. Or it is a short festival. I can't think of, can't remember if it's the shortest or not. I think it is the shortest. Either that or Festival of the Holidays. No, so I it's think neck and neck. Yeah. So we're gonna be back. We just gotta do it soon. Yeah. But all in all, it was a fantastic day. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see y'all tomorrow. I'm Nicole. And I'm Joe. And this is Hannah. We're from Rhode Island. And now, and it's, now time it's time to, to pay, pay the, the price. price.